So Victorian architecture is a style of architecture used in Britain during the reign of Queen Victoria and it's characterized by massive construction and elaborate ornamentation. So here are some characteristics of Victorian architecture. A bay window is a window that sticks out of a house that can have windows on the side of it. And here's an example of bay windows. Dentals are a molding going around a house with rectangular holes going off throughout it. And here's an example of dentals. Columns. Columns are a round or square shaped post usually holding up the roof. Now here's an example. Alright, so dormers. Or a dormer. A dormer is a window that sticks out from the roof that has a roof of its own. Here's an example of a dormer. Clapboard siding. Wood siding used on a house that looks like this. Okay, a cornice is the piece that runs along where the roof and the wall meet. And that looks like this. Entablature, the upper part of a wall or story that looks like... A gable is the triangular part at the end of a building formed by the two sides of a sloping roof. And that looks like this. Pediment, the piece that comes out from the roof and covers the porch. And it looks like... Right, so a lintel, a lintel is a post that goes across the top of a window or a door. Looks like this. Portigo, a porch with a roof that looks like... Alright, so a mansard <laughs> roof is a roof with two slopes and is often flat on top. And it looks like this. Transom, a window or panel usually operable above a window or a door, and looks like this. So a turret is a, a small, skinny tower usually at the corner of a building, and it looks like this. There are two types of windows, the Oriel window, which begins above the ground and heads up, and looks like this, and <laughs> the reveal window that just sticks out from the wall and looks like this. And a bay window that we explained before. It looks like this. The mass production and factory made building parts made large elaborate houses more affordable. A variety of Victorian styles emerged late after the Victorian architecture style itself. The Italiante, Second Empire, Gothic, Queen Anne, Romanesque, and many others. Each style had its own distinctive features. And it's like this. And this. And this. And this. And that. And that. And this. So, folk Victorian is a generic Victorian style. Bil builders added spindles or gothic windows to, si to simple <laughs> square and L-shaped building. A creative carpenter with a newly invented jigsaw may have created complicated trim, but look beyond the fancy dressing and you'll see a no-nonsense farmhouse. And those are the characteristics of Victorian architecture.